Welcome to the homework for lesson 22. This is module 5 of grade 3. And write your name here first, please. And we're writing the shaded fraction of each figure in the blank space next to the figure. Then draw a line to match the equivalent fractions. So equivalent fractions we've been matching up um, in class with fraction strips and number lines and tape diagrams. And well, let's just label them all first and see what happens. So this is one out of two halves. So that's one half. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Five parts and four shaded, so it's four fifths. This is one, two, three, four, five parts and two are shaded, so it's two fifths. This has six equal parts and three are shaded, so it's three. Sixths. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten equal parts, and only two of them are not shaded, so that's eight tenths. This one also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one has four tenths shaded in. And this has eighths, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's two out of eight. And this is one fourth. All right, so now let's zoom out and see, look for some equivalent fractions. The easiest one to look for usually is one half. So we have to do a little, we can do a little bit of imagining here to see, well, what if we look at this one here with the thirds if I took this part here and I shaded it in there instead then you could see it would look the same it would be one half so these two are the same and we're looking for equivalent fractions so they're not going to have the same denominator so if I'm looking for something equivalent to two-fifths well it can't be four-fifths um, it can't be one-fourth, although fourths are bigger, two-fifths put together wouldn't be the same as a fourth. If I took this piece here, if you want to imagine it, if I took this piece and I moved it over, so that would be colored, that would be shaded in, I knew this one over here and that one would be shaded in. It would be the same as having two fifths, right? If so, if I called that a fifth and that a fifth and that a fifth, I'm using a different color here. So if I were calling all, each of these a fifth, I would have two of them shaded in. So that would be the same as two fifths. Two fifths and four tenths. And you can see four is double two and ten is doubled five. So those are equivalent. And now I'm looking at, oh, two eighths might be the easiest one to do next. All right, if I took this piece here and shaded it in down here instead, I'd have the exact same picture as I do right here for one fourth. So those match up. And you see one, two, if I double one, it's two. And if I double four, it's eight. So both of them, the numerator and the denominator, are doubled. And that also works for matching up four-fifths with eight-tenths. Complete the fractions to make true statements. So here we have this is one-half, and it's equal to... What's its partner here? We're looking at eight equal parts, four eighths. And this is the three fifths here. And its partner is in tenths. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six tenths are shaded in. And we look at these triangles. This one is three 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this top one is ninths, and that's three ninths shaded in. So this is six, and I just we need to know what's what's our fractional unit here. And we can just count to find out how many equal pieces there are. I think there's gonna be. Uh, I think there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, there's 18 of them, 6 eighteenths, right, double 3 to get 6, so you double 9 to get 18. Why does it take 3 copies of 1 sixth to show the same amount as 1 copy of 1 half? Explain your answer in words and pictures. Okay, so. So there's the picture. Um, why does it take three? Because three is half of six. So, so it takes three sixths to equal one half. How many ninths does it take to make the same amount as one third? Okay, so, you know, we could do this. Let's use a number line just for some variety here. And we'll label our endpoints at 0 and 1. And we're going to make thirds. And to make ninths, we need... So let's label these as thirds. So that's 0, thirds, 1, third, 2, thirds, 3, thirds. And now I'm going to label ninths let me use a different color for that just let's see ninths I'm gonna need uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. there and if I'm gonna label those it's gonna be zero ninths one ninth two ninths three ninths four ninths five ninths six ninths seven eight ninths and nine ninths and I'm just gonna circle these two together to show that they're those are the two I'm looking at. And that was three ninths. It takes three ninths to make a fraction. equivalent to one third.
pi was cut into three equal slices. If Reuben ate three-fourths of the pie, how many slices did he eat? Explain your answer using a number line in words. So now we have to use a number line. And I want to remind you here for number four, you had to use words and pictures. So you had to use some kind of a picture. I use a number line. You could use a tape diagram. You could use circle, uh, circles or rectangles, uh, similar to the uh, we saw on the first page. Uh, a lot of different pictures you could have drawn that would have worked. Uh, but you had to have some kind of a picture for that. Uh, number five, it tells us we have to use a number line and words. So a pie was cut into, and there we go. Eight equal slices. Okay, so I'm going to draw the pie. I haven't even read the whole thing yet. I'm just drawing a pie. Eight equal slices. Okay. If Reuben ate three-fourths of the pie, how many slices did he eat? All right, so, it, but I have to use a number line, right? Okay, so the number line, I'm going to draw. Uh, and if I was looking at fourths, I'd be looking at these lines for fourths. If it was a regular pie picture, right? And I'd be looking at, there's fourths, and he would have... One, two, three, four, five, six, right? That's three fourths. So you can see how many slices of pie he ate. But we're going to use a number line from zero to one whole pie. In fact, let me erase this round pie and get it out of here. Sometimes it happens. You start working on a problem, you th think you're paying attention, and you notice that you're not really following directions, and you've got to start over. That's what erasers are for. Okay, so eight equal pieces, so we need eighths. Half. Half. And each quarter gets cut in half. All right, so we need eighths, zero eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. And then down here, we're looking at we want fourths. So we know we have one, two, three, four for equal pieces of fourths. So that's zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Now it's important to remember here, and you can see it now that I've drawn it, that it takes two eighths to make, right? Because it takes that one and that one. It takes two eighths to make each fourth. It, you might be tempted in the beginning to label this one fourth and label this two fourths and this three fourths, and then you've got to four fourths and you're only halfway across and you already have a hole, but it's not, you realize it's not really supposed to be a hole yet because you've only gotten halfway across the pie. Just clean this up a little bit if I can do it without erasing too much other stuff. That mark goes right there. So he ate three fourths of the pie. How many slices did he eat? So, right here we can see it. Those are the equivalent fractions. So it's six eighths. So those are six slices. Ooh. 
Reuben ate a lot of pie. Eight. Six. We want how many slices did he eat, not how many eighths. So I got to erase that fraction bar I was starting to draw there. Eight, six. Slices. Of. Pie. 